Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. This is Anastasia. Welcome everybody. I am filming outside. I needed to get out, out of my filming room, out of the house and just breathe because I had some struggle with my balloon garland. Not particularly with balloon garland but with the decorations that I did for this balloon garland and I, yeah, I just needed to vent a little bit. You guys, I am using 12 inch balloons for today's balloon garland. There is a reason for it. Buying different sizes of balloons it can get pretty expensive, not gonna lie. One balloon garland can cost me $50 for the cost of all the balloons. And I'm not even using all of the balloons because I don't need that many or $60 uh, just for balloons. It can get expensive. So today I'm using just 12 inch to show you that you can use 12 inch balloons and have just as beautiful balloon garland. So that's what we're doing today. And before letting you guys go, I want to talk about my balloon garland cleanups. Uh, I'm not gonna do uh, any balloon cleanups anymore. There's a reason for it and I don't want to do it anymore. I don't feel comfortable doing it anymore. Uh, someday, maybe I'll tell you what happened and what's the reason for it, but not today. I don't want to talk about it. And yeah, you guys, no, on this such a happy note, if you want to see what is happening with this balloon garland, then stay tuned and let's go. Here are all of my supplies, not all, but most of my supplies that I'm planning to use for this uh, garland. I am using a whole bunch of artificial flowers. Most of them I bought at Walmart. These tulips were 97 cents. These bunches, they were $1.50, 97 cents, 97, 97, 97 cents and these greenery 97 cents as well these yellow and pink um, flowers i bought them at ac more and i can't remember the price of it it was uh way too long ago so i can't remember uh these balloons over here i have only 12 inch balloons today because i usually use 36 uh, 12 5 18 24 inch balloons in one garland this time i am using only 12 inch balloons because buying all of the sizes balloons in different sizes and shapes and all of that stuff balloons can get a little expensive per garland so today i'm using only only 12 inch balloons these balloons i bought at walmart as well by the way this is not sponsored bag of 15 i paid 97 cents per bag and uh, this bag of 72 balloons i buy them for four dollars and fifty cents overall it's going to be a pretty affordable balloon garland you don't have to use flowers i just wanted to try something different this time i'm also using a low heat glue gun and a 10 inch fishing line all right let's construct this a look at this beautiful balloon garland i did take all of my flowers down and i need to sadly need to take this balloon garland down to make uh, a spot for a new one Start on my balloon garland I am using my electric balloon pump which I love it's such a time saver it's super fast super easy love it I'm using as you know I'm using only 12 inch balloons today so still I want to blow these 12 inch balloons into different sizes so obviously they're not gonna get any bigger than 12 inch balloons so I'm blowing them up a little bit smaller and as small as they can get I'm taking two balloons out once, so putting them on my nozzles, blowing them up, and then those two balloons, I'm tying them together, making them and forming clusters and pairs of balloons. I have my headphones, let's put them in, let's put some music on or a movie, I don't know, I haven't decided yet, and we'll start on this beautiful balloon garland, let's go. I'm 
ready to start building my balloon garland i do receive uh, comments on uh, asking how i manage not to tangle myself in my fishing line i do tangle myself in it and i try not to very hard but sometimes it happens i try to keep my uh, fishing line as far as i can from me like for example i'm gonna put it right on the floor and try to create tension of this fishing line as much as i can so that would be easier for me to control it so now i'm taking one of the clusters and tying my fishing line around it okay building balloon garland with 12 inch balloons is a lot a lot easier than having a different sizes of balloons i can make this balloon garland in no time but with bigger balloons you have to keep an eye on every single side and you have to you know constantly uh, put more fishing line around different balloons to make sure there will be no spaces with this it's going to be a lot a lot easier so let's take our second cluster put it right on top wrap it around with our fishing line and push it again around with the fishing line around different balloon and push it and basically that's it that's all you need to do so keep playing keep placing your balloon clusters on top wrapping and pushing closer to the beginning of your balloon garland and you're gonna be good to go building my balloon garland and you guys to help you with tangling it's so easy just step on your fishing line and by stepping on it you're going to create a barrier for your fishing line that way you're not having this extra fishing line going everywhere and tangling on your balloon garland whatever amount of fishing line you need you just control it with your foot super easy helped me out and uh, yeah it was a breeze to secure your balloon garland is super easy you hold your fishing line with one hand over here other one holds the tail of your fishing line wrap around one of the balloons and feed your tail through that loop that you just created bam do that a couple of times to make sure your balloon garland is secured and you're good to go let's hang this up to hang my balloon garland i will be using extra pieces of uh, fishing line also i did pin some of the safety pins on my backdrop so i have one over here two and a third one over there closer to that side I will be taking my fishing line, wrapping around one of the spots in my balloon garland and going to that safety pin and tying my fishing line with the balloon garland to that safety pin. If you don't have bag drop, use command hooks. I heard they work amazing. They don't ruin your walls and they just per they're just perfect for this type of decorations. my balloon garland i did hunt this balloon garland a little bit different than i usually do and i don't mind it at all it's very unique looking right now so i'm ready to insert all of these flowers or try to insert all of the flower all of the flowers on this balloon garland so what i want to do is to have these flowers mainly on one like in one spot so to create this kind of like a 
focal point on a balloon garland. I want to try to place as many flowers in one spot as I can. I am pretty excited. I'm going to just push the flowers in without gluing them on the top. You can absolutely uh, use your low heat glue gun to fill in spaces with your flowers. In my case, I'm not doing that. I'm just inserting them as is. So let's go. to go. Here is what I have for you guys today. I absolutely love the whole idea of these flowers being in one spot and the balloon garland being so simple. Love the whole theme. It reminds me of like a garden theme event. I don't know, very cute, very summery. Now you guys, you need to secure your balloon garland even more than I did because you guys, I used a 10 pound fishing line and 10 pound fishing line can't hold the weight of this section over here because all of the flowers are super heavy and fishing line just snaps or yeah unties and the balloon garland falls. I used the 50 pound fishing line over here on this spot and one over there to completely hold and lift this part of the garland up and to make sure it's not going to fall again you guys again it's better for you to glue these flowers to your balloon garland i didn't glue it and i can see this bunch over here is moving and it's almost ready to fall down glue it down because when you push one bunch of flowers it can cause this wave of movement of all the balloons and all the garland and something will fall a hundred percent learn from my mistakes secure your balloon garland and glue your flowers down to avoid bad things happening at your event i hope you enjoyed this video and i will share a few pictures at the end of this video also the count of balloons and every single supply that i used here i will link in the description under this video and uh, here we go glue your flowers down Alrighty guys, so here you have it. This is my balloon garland. I absolutely love the concept of this balloon garland having a simple balloon garland and then this uh, focal point with flowers. Very pretty. I'm gonna tell you right now you guys use more fishing line to secure your balloon garland to avoid what happened to me. Glue your flowers with low heat temperature gun because I struggled with my flowers and that's why I ran outside to film the ending and the intro of this <laughs> balloon garland. So you guys, listen what I say. Secure your balloon garland, add more fishing line in different spots, use heavier uh, fishing line, not 10 pound, uh, use 50 pound fishing line. I will link that below for you guys if you need to see it and purchase and glue 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 your flowers i tried to do my flowers three times three times they were falling and it was so frustrating so i hope you enjoyed this video if you did don't forget to give it a thumbs up comment down below what you think and if you're new here you guys don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more videos and i will see you back very soon